everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Super Paper Mario. I am Big 100 and we are heading to Chapter 5 1. Um, this chapter is interesting. I, it's not my favorite, and it's just. It's, it's a decent chapter, but it's nothing spectacular, in my opinion. Uh, it is, again, it is interesting. I, I know some people do like this chapter, and, you know, that's fine, because it is a cool chapter. It's just. I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Again, Chapter 3 is my favorite. Then again, Chapter 3 is a very obvious favorite for most people, I would think. Downtown of Crag. Fraggle Rock. Ooh, we got a jungle kind of style theme here, and ooh, rocks. Ooh, this is an interesting looking place. It's kind of prehistoric in, um, in design. And we have some more geom geometric looking people. It seems like, unless you're, well, the flow side has some geometric looking people too, but these guys are definitely more geometric and, whoa. Oh my, where are we? Quite a nice view from here in midair, but I can't yet see the pure heart. <laughs> Wait, midair? You can't f fly. You need ground, don't you? <laughs> yes, he does. And unfortunately, oh, crag a wag -a woo crag a dee dag dee you Bra, big rock who watches. Kragons need little, just little rocks. Kragons need help. You hook Kragons up. So yeah, they want, um, they, these guys need some help. And they're looking from the, uh, big, they're looking to the big rock who watches. They're, uh, I guess, deity. They're patron de deity of sorts. Who help them. And luckily, Mario is here. I don't know how to pronounce their names. I think, I always pronounce it Kragons, Kragons, Krag. Crag on up here, apply directly to the forehead. But either way, though, if you know me, I can't pronounce anything. So if you expect me to pronounce anything, then why? Um, so yeah, wait, you think maybe person sent down to help by Big walk Rock who watches? No, but if it gets me up here, hard, sure. And again, why don't they have any arms? Not really again, but they don't have any arms. It's like how Koopas can carry spears without any arms. You know, I doubt the big rock who watches point ball cried bra. Do, 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 do. I do like the music of this level. Not my favorite music, but it's definitely pretty interesting. Um, there's a song later on, though, that I really do like a lot. We just gravel bits. Where in the world are we, and what are you things? That guy almost reminds me of um, the Sluggy the Unshaven's little minions in... Um, it's Island a little bit due to how he looks. Not rocket science. Kragnons, what's that? Oh, great sermons of Big Rock who watches. Why is Tippy always questioning? She's so, she's so unfriendly towards everyone. It's like, who are you people? Why you, d d don't touch me, you, d you, Merlin, you're evil. She's like paranoid as heck. It's like. You, you would think with being around Mario, she would be a little more open towards uh, new people. Anyway, um, Kragnons are being kidnapped, and they keep losing Kragnons from, I don't know if they said yet, but the Floro Sapiens go ex ex extinct, brah. Not extinct, that's not good. You prune Floro Sapiens, you save kidnap buds, you hook Kragnons up. Sure thing, brah. You're not cragging my chain. Kragnons own you. I really do like the way they talk, honestly. It, c it gets a little annoying, but it's still it's interesting and, and funny. Again, the writing in this game is really good. Terrible bra. King Crocus return. Not King Crocus. Wah. Village Kragnons kidnapped. Please, Kragnons need hooking up bra. You heard that right, kind bras. What? Oh, right, kind bras, as in, as opposed to mean bras. That sounded wrong. Um, anyway, we are in downtown of Crag, and as they have basically told us, we have to go and save the, uh, Florosapiens, or save the Florosapiens. We have to go and save the Kragnons who are being kidnapped by the Florosapiens. And look, a cutscene of sorts. So yeah, these are the Florosapiens. They are... Interesting. I actually like the I like the whole idea of um, plant people. 
not that it hasn't been done before, but I still like the idea. Especially since this is supposedly a, pure, uh, a prehistoric time of sorts, so um, having them be plants as opposed to like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs has been done even more so than plant people. Dinosaurs. And there we go, those guys weren't that tough. The leader of these uncouths has the pure heart. We best try to find him. Yes, we best. Unfortunately, the Kragodons, or some Kragodons, are being kidnapped, and we better go chase after them, because we don't want them to be uh, damaged and hurt and distraught and extinct. Um, you can't really do anything in the village at this point, because almost everyone, unless you leave and come back, everyone is frightened uh, that you are trying to trick people. Uh, there is a store here, but there's not really any use of this door if you really need it. I mean, again, you you get enough items um, uh, as you go along. I almost feel that uh, stores aren't that necessary in this game, besides just storing items. Because uh, the game isn't really, you know, as I've, I've said and as you've seen, because it's already halfway through the game, this game isn't that hard. Um, by any means. It's actually pretty easy. So you must follow them, but first we'll go over here. Here's a bony beetle. Uh, you have to jump on them several times. I think they're pretty they're pretty interesting enemies, to be honest. I don't know if they're undead bone or buzz beetles, or if they're just... I think they are, but they could also just be buzz beetles who wear a skull on their back. And I think that was a uh, reverse Shakursha, or not reverse Shakursha, but the one that uh, sent you back, Kursha. Or back yet, Kursha. So be careful of that. Again, they usually appear in the first level. Um, you have more Dodongos, but the Dodongos here take two bombs as opposed to one. Though I guess it depends on possibly your attack power. But basically, they're stronger versions of the previous Dodongos. I do, I do like all the enemies. They, I mean, they had a. a <clears throat> even though it's, it's some of the enemies are weird. I like the fact that they mixed new and old enemies for this game. Um, you know, I think I may imagine that I, I didn't like that, but I, you know, I, I don't know. I do like that. I like it because it works again because it's in another dimension. If it wasn't in another dimension, it wouldn't work as well. And there we have moon clefts, which honestly I don't agree with them being here. They're from. They're the same clefts you fought on the moon in um, TTYD, but for a reason they brought them here to the land of the Kragnons, and, okay, that'd be all great, even though I think they would make more sense in the space area, but, um, okay, that's great, but then change their name, I'll just keep them moon clefts, call them prehistoric clefts, or primordial clefts, or cleftor, something like that. It would have made more sense than just keeping them be moon clefts. So then again, I, then I wouldn't be having this talk. This interesting, intriguing talk about clefts. There is something about clefts. And here we have another catch card with moon cleft card. Clefts are annoying in this game though because unlike DYD, it's... Well, pretty soon actually they won't be, but they're still a little bit annoying at the moment because of the fact that they, um... You know, a rock. It's hard to uh, hurt and attack rocks. You know, it's understandable that they would be annoying. And what else has I been doing as of late? Well, actually, I've been editing. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm now editing the school paper. Um, and I got my friends into writing articles for it too. I uh, hear just doing that. We're left, right, middle. Uh, for those blocks, you can tentatively go back and talk to someone to get the code, but don't bother because you're going to be needing to do that soon anyway. Um, unless you memorize the code, which you might if you use Game Facts, um, or if you're watching this LP. And here we have a new enemy. Uh, the what do they call it? They man, um, not mammoth, uh, mammoth. I don't know, but they're they're really they're pretty powerful. Uh, these guys, I believe. Um, a certain variation of these guys is the strongest or has the highest defense in the game or most AP, HP. Um, but killing them gives you, I think, quite a bit a, of um, experience. And also, uh, they also will occasionally uh, drop a bone and cut, which I think increases your power. Yeah, your attack, doubles your attack. Uh, and using Bowser's Fire is probably the best way to kill these guys right here. Um, but yeah, I am now uh, editing this school paper, which is interesting. I'm using um, 
basically editing the layout, and you know, that's fun to do, though it adds more work to my plate. Not that I mind, though, because if it's something I enjoy, I definitely don't mind, uh, you know, doing more work. So, uh, here we have more blocks, but there is absolutely no way to know that, uh, the actual, um, order of those blocks unless you look it up, or unless you talk to this guy over here. No. Actually, this is the garbage guy. This guy who's mentioning that he throws garbage in the river. Obviously, use your crag. We return trash to nature. Yes. This is why you're causing Al Gore to cry. Um... So yeah, this guy, he knows what you, we need to put a smile on our face, Jasperoid knows. And he won't, but he won't tell us for free. But he does not want money, he wants us to say please real quick. And he'll tell you. So, let's say please. And you have to say it exactly like this. If you add a capitalization, if you add anything else, even though his actual line sometimes changes to have a capitalization or an explanation point, I think. Uh, no, you have to say exactly, please lower caps, all lower caps. And that's please, and then he wants us to do it more, because he is, you know, he just really wants us to say please. So again, all lower caps, I think all lower, I think all lower caps, but um, let me try upper caps, see what happens. Nop, see? Has to be all lower caps, even though he clearly put an upper cap on the P there, so... Jasport is like... Don't don't be cracking my chain, man. I mean, seriously, dude. Brah. And two more times. Yeah, so this is really annoying, and it's not nearly as annoying as the code when you see how long it is. It's insanely long. I, I really think some people, they came with the basic concept and that near the end of the con um, the development for this game, they're like, okay, now we need to add a bunch of really annoying, tedious uh, tasks in some of the chapters. So they added this, they added the whole rupee thing in chapter th through chapter 2. And here's the big secret, you need a pen and paper once you have the memory of a god. Or unless you use game facts, okay, because then you wouldn't even be here. You got tool for writing within Craig's reach, yes. You make sure not to get this all down, bro. And the blocks are middle, right, left. Left, right, middle, right, left, right, right. And that's not it. Wait, just wait, there's more. Do, 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 do. Middle, right, right, left, middle, middle, left, 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 middle, or right, left, left, middle, middle. Yeah, that's the entire code. Oh my god, this is... Uh, some of the things they put in this game, they were... I am positive they were entirely meant just to annoy people. There's no other explanation to why you would have this insane code be in this game. This isn't Konami, this isn't the Konami code. And the Konami code was easy to remember, so... Um, no, I'm sorry, there's no excuse. And, yeah, be careful, make sure you're not accidentally hitting any other blocks when you're doing this. I certainly probably shouldn't be doing this on carry, but I like carry it as a little bit more speed. Not too much more, but a little bit more to gain this done. And there we go, a pipe has been born. And when we cross over to the other side of the, I guess, ravine, canyon, level, we have the end of the level here. So yeah, this has been Meg 400, and this is the beginning of Chapter 5, which is a fun, you know, enjoyable chapter. Um, not my favorite, but definitely not bad in any way. Um, so I am reminding you that you better not be, uh... Cracking my chain.